Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 2nd through March 8th. I am using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again, and so let's just jump right in, Scorpios. What we have coming up on Monday is the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups really talks about having a situation or a relationship in our lives that we take a good hard look at and we realize, you know what? I'm putting in way more energy and effort into this situation, and what I'm feeling out of it is depleted. <laughs> I'm not feeling anything positive, just feeling depleted. I'm not getting anything in return out of this situation or this relationship. I've seen this come up a couple of different ways. This can come up as an employment situation, and it can also come up as a relationship situation with a significant other or even a friend, if you have like a psychic vampire friend. so. What's happened is you've evaluated the situation and realized that it's just not getting better and it doesn't look like it's going to be getting any better. And so now you've decided, you know what, it's time to cut my losses and walk away from this and just see what I can find out there in that wonderful great big world that would be able to um, not deplete me but actually re-energize me as I sow in energy into it. It sows energy back into me, whatever that situation or relationship might be. Okay, so that's the Eight of Cups that's talking about, you know, walking away from a situation that really is not feeding you well and um, looking for something new that might. Hopefully, that will. All right, so then on Tuesday, what we have, Scorpio, is the Two of Coins. Two of Coins just means Tuesday, busy, 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 busy. Very busy on Tuesday. Everybody's kind of looking at you going, how does she do it? How does he do it? They're making it look so graceful and easy, and yet they're doing so much stuff. Well, guess what? You're not feeling like it's graceful and easy. <laughs> we're feeling like it's a challenge. <laughs> but we're making it look easy to the outsiders. So um, Tuesday is just very busy, busy, busy. Wednesday, Scorpios fellow Scorpios. We have the stars showing up in reverse. So this just means that on Wednesday, we're going to be feeling a little bit lost, like we're not in touch with the cosmic information and we're not so much in touch with reality. We're kind of lost in our own little la-la land on Wednesday. Bum, bottom. What else do I want to tell you about that? I think our own little la-la land pretty well covers it. All right, so Thursday, what we have coming up is we have the Four of Clubs in Reverse. Four of Clubs in Reverse is, um, typically this is a card that has to do with family, although it can have to do with workplace situations or relationships, uh, but primarily family. And when you see the Four of Clubs come up in reverse, to me what that means is that you have somebody in your family, possibly even yourself, Scorpios, who are leaving the nest. This is what I call my leaving the nest card when it comes up reversed. And the reason that I say leaving the nest, this can apply to people moving out of mom and dad's house. This can apply to someone going away on a military tour of duty far away. This can apply to somebody going off to college. This can apply, I've seen it apply to somebody retiring from her place of business that she's worked for a long time. Um, this can uh, also apply in office transfers when we're not talking about family. And also in a relationship situation, this can talk about a split up or a time of separation for a relationship. So there's a whole lot of different ways that this can manifest in your life, Scorpios. And I'm feeling like there's a whole lot of different ways it is manifesting. <laughs> so not everybody's experience here is going to be just the same as any other Scorpios. Uh, but there is there is something about leaving the nest coming in for you guys on Thursday, or for us, I should say, on Thursday. Now, Friday what we have coming up is we have the Six of Clubs in Reverse. This just tells me that on Friday, us Scorpios are working on some kind of project that not only benefits ourselves, but also benefits others as well. This project is not complete on Friday, but we are working on it and spending a significant time, a significant amount of time and energy on it. Now, Saturday, Five of Swords, frustrating situation here. 
This is just talking about um, a situation where everybody is supposed to be focused on the same target or the same goal, and instead of everybody focusing on the same target or the same goal, well, they kind of do, but they all have different agendas about how to get to that target or goal. And that kind of keeps the project on hold, keeps it from moving forward. So, Scorpios, that's what I see on Saturday as a time of frustration until you guys all figure out, <laughs> okay, how are we going to meet the target or goal and kind of all get on the same page there. Now, and by the way, um, this is not always going to happen the same day. Getting on the same page may not necessarily happen on Saturday. Um, but the time of frustration definitely does. <laughs> I feel like for some of you it's going to be cleared up before, before you go to bed on Saturday, and for some of you it just won't be. Um, Sunday, we have the Strength card coming up. The Strength card just tells me that on Sunday you're going to be feeling very comfortable with who you are, very comfortable in your own skin. You've got a nice amount of self-confidence. You're not feeling arrogant. You're not feeling low self-worth issues. Um, but you're feeling nicely confident in who you are and very accepting of who you are on Sunday. So, Scorpios. Actually, I'm thinking about Sunday. The fact that we know, we, we know ourselves so well, that really kind of makes sense that we would be feeling good about who we are and in our own skin. So anyway, that is your week, Scorpio. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, please realize I do more than psychic tarot. I also do mediumship readings as well as spiritual healing. So check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you're there and you've poked around a little bit, if you still feel like I'm the best person for you to work with, feel free to get a hold of me. We will schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. And for the rest of you, I will see you right here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.